Hi there, I'm back and this morning I'm going to do a side-by-side -side comparison between these two waffle makers that I've um, been uploading videos about recently. The Farberware Two Slice Removable Plate Waffle Iron and my new replacement uh, Presto Flip Side Waffle Maker. I made the same batter to use for both. Um, and, uh, I will show you that recipe in a minute. I, in fact, I will even, um, I will even print it in the, uh, description box of this video in case you want to try it. Um, okay. That one's telling me one minute left on this waffle maker. So as soon as these waffles are ready, I will come back and we will compare the results. Okay. We're back. Um, and this is my Better Homes and Gardens cookbook. I've had it for probably 30 years at least, and I got it um, hand-me-down from an old roommate <laughs> many, many years ago who um, got it as a gift and never used it, um, and I've been wearing out the pages. It's wonderful, but this is where I got my recipe from, and I'll show you that in a minute, um, and here's the results. Um, this is quite interesting. So I have a lot of sunlight coming in here, so it's probably making this one look a little lighter than it is, but it is very nice and golden. Now, this, of course, is the Presto Flip Side uh, waffle. This is four minutes of baking in the machine. You can see it is a little darker golden, and it is very, very crispy. Okay. And let's open it up, and it is, it's very beautiful and fluffy inside. And of course, looks aren't everything right, so we got to taste it. Mmm. What do you think, buddy? My, my dog is helping be a, a taste tester today. Of course, he's, he's not terribly picky, so I don't know how good of a <laughs> example that is. Okay, and then this is the Farberware waffles. Now you can see they're obviously not as thick, you know, oops, as the Presto. I So I, I kind of think now that I've made some waffles in this, I think it's meant to be a standard waffle. It's just a little bigger and fluffier than the classic style, like the uh, round uh, Cuisinart model I have. This is also after six and a half minutes of baking. So you will notice the difference there uh, with the wattage. So I'm guessing this one uh, gets a bit hotter for it to brown and crisp like this in a shorter amount of time. Um, however, these are actually pretty good waffles, um, I have to say. They are crispy on the outside. They're very fluffy on the inside. As you can see, everything's done really nice. They do taste really good. They are not as crunchy crispy on the outside as, as this one. Um, they're a little more tender, but they are very, very good. For me, the huge advantage here is the removable plates. Um, I also think that this is going to be the waffle maker that I'm going to be doing more of my experimenting with, with other foods other than a, than a classic batter with, where this one, as, uh, as you all know, if you've been watching my uh, videos with updates on, on this issue <laughs> with the flip side, um, probably won't be put to those tasks anymore just because I still don't really know what happened to my other one, uh, why it, what, it, what caused it to go south because I was oiling it and, and everything else. But all that's in the past now. I have a new one and I'm going to try to take uh, as good care of it as I possibly can. Uh, and as... Uh, as suggested by the customer service rep at Presto, I pulled out one of my my trusty old uh, silicone pastry brushes. It's got these very thin, very fine um, silicone bristles, and right now they're currently coated with oil. So that's what I kind of basted the, the hot plates down, and it suggested that you preheat it first and then um, do the oiling. And it does kind of disperse a little easier that way, too, if the oil is hot. So that is my side-by-side -side comparison today. I hope this you find this helpful. 
um, and inspires you to make some waffles for breakfast, maybe this weekend, if you if that if you need more time to do it and want to make a production <laughs> and a, a fantastic breakfast. Um, I like both of these. Obviously, this is crispier and and much thicker. And especially if you want to impress someone, uh, this would be the way to go. I mean, these are very impressively thick and crispy waffles. I've always loved the waffles that came out of there um, when they came out. So on that note, I hope you have a wonderful day. Please give me a thumbs up if you like my videos and subscribe so you don't miss any new uploads. Have a great day.